Hello folks, thought I'd do a little follow-up to my Polar Vortex 2019 video from last week. This is exactly one week later. It's Thursday, February 7th, virtually the same time of day as a week ago, late morning. And as you can see, we've had a considerable change in our weather in the last week. Last weekend, almost a week ago now, the temperature shot up to here near my home in West Michigan to almost 50 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 10 degrees centigrade uh, within a matter of um, 24 hours. And as you can see, it melted most of the snow. Yesterday, Wednesday, Tuesday night into Wednesday, we had freezing rain, which has created um, uh, numerous power outages in the area, particularly north of me. I, I didn't have too much of a problem in my area with freezing rain. It was right on the cusp of freezing. It was just above freezing. Uh, it was about 33, 34 degrees Fahrenheit, just above zero degrees centigrade. But north of us, they got hit very hard. They had over a quarter of an inch, six millimeters of ice. Power lines came down. There's been a lot of flooding of local rivers, homes, businesses, basements, because of the rain. This morning, Thursday morning, it was raining very hard a short time ago. It's not raining out right now. It's currently about 38 degrees Fahrenheit, which is three degrees Celsius. It is supposed to go up over the next 12 hours or so to, again, about 50 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe just short of that, 10 degrees centigrade, and then turn right around and then drop again right back to about 15 degrees Fahrenheit to minus 9 centigrade. So that's going to occur within a 24-hour period. That's called a flash freeze, at least according to the local meteorologist. So all the pooled water out there, there's not a lot in this shot, but the pooled water there is uh, in low areas are pooling with all the rain we've had. We've had over an inch, 25 millimeters of rain in the last day or so. And there's serious concerns about that flash freeze. And then it's supposed to remain fairly cool and cold, seasonal, seasonable, I should say, for um, the next week or so. Michigan, the state of Michigan is known for variable weather. This is about as variable as it gets. Normally we don't have here swings of that magnitude from virtually uh, sub-zero freezing of a week ago with high winds to almost 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees centigrade within a matter of a day or two and then back again. That's a little unusual for Michigan. That's probably on the extreme side. You can see uh, we've lost virtually all of our snow on the flat. The only thing that's left right now is piles. As you, you can see now that the driveway that I pointed out a week or so ago right there, that's not my main drive. That's, that's the drive that just comes out to my pole barn and my workshop. The main drive is further to the left that goes up to the house. And I should mention they're talking about high winds uh, over the next uh, 12 to 24 hours also, which is not going to help with the, the freezing rain that's already on the power lines uh, north of us. They've got, they've got quite a mess up there. Schools are closed, some businesses are closed, uh, roads are uh, iced up, as you can imagine, it travel's difficult. We're on just on the warm side of that whole thing. That's an update to the Polar Vortex 2019, just thought I'd share the difference one week can make, and um, we'll see what happens over the next week. As usual, thanks for watching.